Good morning. Santa Bear is out. <laughs> Welcome back to Mishmas. How is everyone? I have a busy day ahead of me, which is always exciting. I've got to get my nails done this afternoon. I'm like working backwards. It's like the last thing I have to do. I have to get my nails done this afternoon. Um, I have a meeting with California Closets again. We're kind of picking up where we left off. I, um, I don't know if you guys saw all that vlog, uh, vlogging business last was it last year? You know, earlier this year. It must have been earlier this year. Um, anyway, we specced out uh, the primary bedroom's closet, which is what we did and we finished. And we also kind of designed and specced out my husband's office and also the room I'm gonna be using to uh, like hold my handbags and jewelry and perfume. I was calling it my finishing room because <laughs> I kind of envisioned it to be the room like after I got dressed. Um, I would go in there and kind of finish it off with my handbag and my perfume, my jewelry and all the kind of finishing items. Um, but it's such a strange name. So anyway, the California closets woman was calling it the boutique room. Um, it, whatever, we'll figure it out. So we spec'd out those three areas. We did that one and I'm still like, I, I'm being very indecisive about how I want, uh, this we'll call it the handbag room, the handbag room. Um, you know, do I want open shelving? Do I want doors over everything? Do I want solid doors? Do I want glass doors? I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm like, let's hold off on that. But I would like to do my husband's office, um, so, which is so ironic because he is back in the office <laughs> almost pretty much every single day. Um, he's getting like a new schedule where he's going to be working from home once maybe twice a week occasionally, but regularly just once uh, once a week. So I'm like, great, let's do the office now. He's like, I don't really need it now. I'm like, let's just do it. Because we had kind of planned out that room so long ago, um, the California Closets rep is coming back today and she's like, let's just, let's just go over it again, make sure everything. Cause I was like, oh, let's just do it. We really liked the way it was designed. She's like, to be sure, let me just come over and uh, go over the plans with you or whatever. So I'm like, okay. Okay, that's smart. That is the smart thing to do. So she's coming today. Um, I have um, an exciting uh, conference call today, um, which, sorry, I can't really talk about, <laughs> but an exciting call today. And then um, before that, uh, the first thing that's happening today is an electrician is coming because we got a new car, uh, which is being delivered uh, this month sometime. They're being very vague. Uh, but it's coming this month sometime. It's an electric car, and so we have to get a charger installed. So an electrician is coming to spec that out. So that's very, very exciting. Uh, we've been wanting an electric car for so long, but it didn't really make too much sense until we moved into a home because you have to charge it and all of that. And so, you know, we moved here, we were getting everything done, and then my husband finally was like, should we get that electric car? I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, we should get that electric car uh, because we own my husband's car that he's currently driving. We own that outright. So it wasn't like a lease came up and like we just had to make a decision. So yeah, we just sort of sat on it for a long time because we just kind of, you know, we got distracted by other things. So anyway, um, he finally ordered one and it's coming this month. I'm so excited. So, so excited. Um, yeah, so that's today. Busy. Busy for me. <laughs> Probably not busy for most people, busy for me. And I got uh, some like Black Friday purchases that I made. Those are starting to trickle in so I can show you what I got. Nothing terribly exciting. Um, I got some like practical things. I did get one, um, one like fun order. So I'll show all that to you later. But yeah, oh, let's take a look at the advent calendars for today. All right, we're back for day four again, starting with Space NK advent calendar. Here is number four. This is my first time doing a Space NK uh, advent calendar, and it's great. This is so much fun. Okay, let it glow, let it glow, let it glow. Ooh, Summer Fridays. What do we have here? Oh, the CC Me Serum. It's a brightening serum. Oh, I get it. Let it glow. Uh, AM and PM. I'm trying to find, like, the major ingredient. Let's see. Two forms of vitamin C. And then there's squalane, reduce the appearance of dark spots, hyperpigmentation, while evening skin tone. Oh, awesome. 
awesome. That's great. Okay. And this seems like a full size. Yeah, one fluid ounce, 30 mils. Ooh, that's awesome. All right, next we've got Jo Malone, day four. It's down here. Here it is, over here. And we have another perfume. And we've got the, ooh, Honeysuckle and Davana. I'm not familiar with this one. Ooh, that is super fresh. Super, super fresh. I thought the honeysuckle maybe was gonna be a little bit too sweet. It is definitely, it, it's a little sweet for sure, but it's definitely um, uh, fresher than I thought. Ooh, that's lovely. All right, honeysuckle and Davana. And of course, Diptyque. Last but not least, let's see here. I have to say, these numbers are a little bit hard, <laughs> hard to read. Hard to find them, but I guess that's part of the fun, maybe? <laughs> Let's see what number four is. Number four, no oh, here. All right. Ooh. Ooh, this is Neige. This is one of the uh, limited edition holiday candles for this year. And this is the one that I actually passed on. It's very nice. It's like on the... Um, kind of powdery side. So that is Nash. I love this like navy blue. I actually love this whole like, kind of like deep color scheme. It's really, it's kind of different for holidays, but I feel like it works. Anyway, here is Neige. All right, and here is day four. Another great, I love when I get a candle from Diptyque and a perfume from Jo Malone instead of like two candles or two perfumes. That's, I know that's gonna be a good day. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Summer Fridays from Space NK. Okay, the first, um, what am I saying? The first Black Friday um, purchase that I made that just came in, I wanted to show you mainly because I also need it right now. I got from Look Optic three more readers. If you guys have ever seen me use readers uh, in any of my videos, they're from Look Optic. I just really like the styles. I like the uh, like the frame color options. I just really love the quality because when it comes to readers, I just throw them around and they have to be sturdy. So um, let's see. So the first pair I got is actually a collaboration with Eleven, which is Venus Williams brand. She also has like SPF products and stuff. So look how cool those are. These are like not your ordinary readers. Metal frame. And I just get the one the 1.0 leg magnification. That's at this moment, all I need right now. So, oh yeah, so much better. So much better. I can actually like see the monitor, all the good things. <laughs> yeah, it's actually funny. I never thought about how my changing eyesight was gonna change like like filming and stuff. I, yeah, I just, I never, I never thought about it. Anyway, I really like these. Right? They just, they don't look like, they don't look like typical readers. So that is one pair and all the pairs come with uh, like this felt uh, case, which is really great, very light also. And then another pair that I got, let's see, um, is a frame that I have. I have it in like a, like a faux tortoise and I actually keep that in my car now. So it's like, let me get another, let me get another one so I can keep it. Um, closer to me or maybe just like in my handbag or something. These are, oh wait, I didn't tell you the model for the 11 ones, the 11. So these are Muse readers in gold and the frame is 100% recycled. So that's these that I have on. These that I got, these are what I was just talking about. I have these frames in a tortoise. So this is in taupe. And this is the information on that one. So they're Laurel Taupe and then the 1.0 magnification. And then I decided to try this. I'm not sure if I like these. I actually think these will look better on my husband. They're a little bit more narrow and they're round framed. So these are Billy, Billy Readers in shiny black. And these frames are 100% recycled. So I can't even remember the discount, but I think it was one of those, you know, the more you buy, the deeper your discount. I think I got maybe 30% off because I bought, maybe even 35% off because I bought uh, three frames. So very exciting, very exciting. I really like these. I like the color of these frames. 
Um, yeah, and these are really cool. I think these are my favorite. So yeah, so that is the first thing that came in um, for Black Friday. And as I come to them, you know, since we're just vlogging here, as I come to them, I will uh, like show you what else I purchased. But right now I have, <laughs> you're probably so sick of hearing me say this, but right now I have a few orders I need to pack. I also need to um, like clean up my living room area. I think I showed it to you on day two, what was that, a couple days ago? I'm starting to lose track already and we just started a mishmas. Um, anyway, I was showing you when I hung up my stockings, how in my living room with the fireplace, I just have all of my inventory there. So now that my inventory has dwindled down quite a bit, thanks to you guys, um, I need to just quick take inventory and also just put the stuff away because it's all kind of out so that I could grab stuff very easily. So I need to do that because I have furniture and a rug that's going in that area very, very soon. So I need to do that. Um, I don't think I'll vlog it because that is super boring, but I will definitely see you in a little bit. Guys, I just wanted to give you yet another update, <laughs> another update on uh, the situation with Butters, which really isn't ongoing because it's, you know, it's over and she's fine and she's healing and she's, you know, doing really well. But um, again, in case you missed it or whatever, um, uh, Butters about a month and a half ago at this point, she was attacked by a Rottweiler. And, um, you know, thankfully she's fine. Um, she had some bruising and some, you know, some broken skin in some spots or whatever. And she was in pain for a while, but we got her on meds. The vet looked her over. We went... We followed up with the vet probably three or four times. And I think in my last vlog, again, I'm losing track, so I apologize. But in one of my previous vlogs uh, recently, I talked about how the owner had stopped my husband when uh, my husband was out walking butters. You know, the, the owner of the Rottweiler pulled over and he was, you know, very apologetic and, you know, offered to pay and assured us that he had secured his home. Like, you know, all the things. And my husband was like, look, it happens, um, you know, we really appreciate, you know, your your apologies and, and all of that stuff. He's like, we're all, you know, we're good. We're good. Like, no worries. Um, thanks so much or whatever. The the owner of the Rottweiler, he must feel terrible. You know, uh, like, I, like I said in my other vlog, I'm like, there really are some very good people out there. And anyway, he reached out to my husband on, I can't remember now. Some, you know, social media channel, somehow he found him. I guess like LinkedIn or something. Anyway, he found him and um, he reached out to him and he said, look, I just, you know, I'd really, I'm just, I just want to apologize again. And, you know, I really want to uh, pay for her vet bills. You know, I think that that's, <laughs> he's like talking about you, I'm talking about you. Um, you know, what can I do or whatever? And my husband was like, look, um, <laughs> It's fine, you know, it's fine, you know, he, he's like, it just it just wasn't that much money, so I just feel stupid asking you for it. He's like, but uh, what you can do, and he's like, you can do this or not do this or whatever, because, you know, charity is very, very personal where you want to do donate your money to, but my husband said we, we love uh, not just Rolling Hill Farm, but we love Frankie's Friends. Um, that's another charity to help uh, animals in need. Uh, pets in need. So my husband said, if you would like, you know, if you could please make a donation to Frankie's friends uh, in the name of Butters and Bear, that's the Rottweiler, um, that would be great. But you know, absolutely no pressure. And the guy went ahead and he did it. He made a donation uh, to Frankie's friends. And yeah, I just wanted to update you again on um, really on how a really kind of traumatic situation has really turned out to be uh, quite a positive one. I'm like, wow, we have like a really uh, nice, responsible neighbor in our neighborhood. And I'm just, you know, I'm just thrilled. And, um, you know, th thank goodness, thank goodness, uh, nothing happened. Nothing uh, bad happened to Butters. Yeah, so I just wanted to mention that to you guys and keep you updated on that situation. So I think that, I think that's the end of it. I think that's the end of it. But my husband and I were like, oh my God, he's so nice. You know, we just were like, like, wow, like this, this, this horrible situation could not have turned out any better. And I was like, who knows? Maybe when Bear is rehabilitated, maybe Bear and Butters could be good friends. <laughs> maybe we can have a play date and 
a couple of years. Um, so, yeah. No, right, baby. Can you see her? Yes. She has one of her new outfits on. I'm going to show you guys uh, some clothing I got her for Black Friday, but I think we're going to do a whole doggy fashion show. Maybe we'll do like a Butter's Day during Mishmas. What do you think? I think she's horrified at the idea. Oh, with your own little pocket here. You can carry your own things here, like a little bally. I don't know if that would fit. Maybe a little bally. Maybe your own poo poo bag. So I just have to show you guys my inventory. So I'm keeping it in my gym. <laughs> and I have those nine bins left. Just those nine bins. Excuse the mess over here, okay? We're still a work in progress. I started out with probably no less than 50 of those bins and I only have nine left. I am so, I mean, so beyond moved and thrilled and I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for your support. I, I know I've been mentioning it every time. I'm like, I gotta pack up some boxes. I got some orders that came in. Um, but it really is, like I just, yeah. It's just something that I, I can sometimes not even like wrap my head around. I'm like, wow, wow. Inventory has been taken. It has been organized, put back in the gym. Um, like I said, where I have been storing it and uh, I'm waiting for the electrician to come and, uh, yeah, and talk to me about putting up this charger on the wall. So exciting. The electrician just left. He was actually here a lot longer than I thought he was going to be, uh, which is fine, but, um, to install our car charger, it's, yeah, it's going to be a little bit more complicated than we thought. So anyway, he had to really work it out to give us a proper estimate and, you know, time, et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully that'll happen sometime soon. Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited about it. Really, really excited about it. Hi, Butters. Do you just follow me in here? Not right now, okay? Mommy's vlogging. So I was about to head upstairs and actually get in the shower, but I realized that there's a little bit more manual labor I can do before I shower. And that is to roll out this rug. So I ordered a rug off of Amazon and it's gonna be going into this room. And I need to put that down first because I'm having someone come tomorrow and help me with this furniture, which like I've alluded to before, uh, is just gonna end up being a different video. Um, I'm just gonna share with you like what I got and why I got it and all that stuff. So anyway, uh, let's take a look at this rug because I ordered one just relatively quickly off of Amazon, like I said. Um, they just had like a pretty decent selection of very large rugs. So I got a 10 by 14 rug. Um, the prices were reasonable, I think, for a rug, especially compared to what I saw online. I was like, are rugs that much? I was really nervous. So let's get this unwrapped and actually take a look at it because, you know, pictures can be very deceiving. <laughs> This is what the rug looks like. Oh, it's like much nubbier than I thought. I think that'll actually be kind of fun. All right, let's get this open, open. And this is wool because wool is less staticky than like synthetic fibers, but a little bit more difficult to care for, especially if someone is going to poop or pee on it. But let's hope not. This is ready for the furniture, which hopefully will be done getting assembled tomorrow at some time. Okay, that was a workout. This rug is really heavy. Oh, and if you're wondering, yes, I did order a rug pad to put underneath, but that for some reason 
was totally back ordered. I didn't realize it when I ordered it. So that's not coming until later. So we're only putting those three pieces of furniture on. And it's Ikea furniture, which is relatively light. So I think we'll just move it off and uh, roll up this carpet and put that pad down once it comes. I just didn't want to wait because I think it's going to come like almost close to Christmas. So I just wanted to get this stuff down. And once we get furniture on the rug, we may not even actually need the rug pad. It's like one of those non-slip ones. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I just showered. I decided to gel my hair back. I haven't done it in a while, so I thought we'll do something different today. Um, but I have one of my Black Friday orders sitting here, and I thought I would show it to you. I actually placed a pretty large order at Spanx. They, <laughs> they make my favorite bras. And then I think I got some, you know, like smoothers. We'll see. I don't usually like clothes that are confining. As you guys know, I really really hate tight clothing. I don't even like wearing tights when I work out. I do because it just, yeah, it just makes sense, but I don't even like tights. Like I know people wear their like, like Lululemon tights like around the house, like that's their comfy clothes. No, I don't like that. So I got some of these bras. These are like the minimizer bras. Hold on, let me get the proper name for you. I have, I would say above average, sized boots. They've always kind of been the bane of my existence because I do like to run and things and it's just it's just annoying. Um, but I have the low profile minimizer bra and it's the one with the underwire. But they do make, I think, the same model without underwire. I actually, I like an underwire. I need, I need some structure there. And then, wow, what did I, what did I get? So Spanx was having 20% off. Oh, I got some, did I get some underwear? Mid thigh, what is this? Oh, so these are just like, uh, they're like biker shorts basically. Um, so I thought I would get that just to, you know, smooth a little bit if I were to wear like a dress out or something, or even if I wear just some of my trousers, ones that maybe aren't like wide leg. Yeah, I just feel like, you know, smooth things out. Doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt. Um, so I got a pair of those. Ah, I got, I really actually like the Spanx activewear. And so I got one of their sports bras and was like, let me just try it out. And I really, really like it. It is like an over the head one, um, but I don't mind it. So I got 36D uh, for that. So I got two black sports bras. Oh, I forgot about those. I'm excited. I'm excited for those because I go through them too quickly and it's not, I can't like, I can only wear them once is what I'm trying to say. So I go through them too quickly and I feel like I'm washing them too often. And you know, and when you do that, they just, they wear down too quickly. And then, what is this? This is an interesting color. This is so much more like pink than the other, the other products I got. Um, so this is, what is this? The boy short. Oh, and vintage rose. Why did I get vintage rose? Maybe that was the closest color to like my flesh that I could find. This is, oh, okay. So there's like three strengths, if you will, that Spanx has. Smooth, shape, and sculpt. So smooth is like the lightest. It's not like super, super tight. Sculpt is like super tight. So this is shape, which is right in the middle. So just like a little, boy short again, just to kind of smooth things out. This I think is, oh, this is shape also. These other shorts that I got. And then I got one last thing. And this, <laughs> I, you know, I got this color cause I just thought it was so pretty, but it really doesn't, it doesn't match me, but I just think it's a gorgeous color. Um, so this is their shaping satin. That's the name of this fabric and I just wanted to try it. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely like a satin. It's very, very smooth, but it's so shiny. Doesn't it look like latex? <laughs> I admittedly, I purchased this because I was just really, really curious about this fabric and like what, what this was going to look like. It looks like, it looks like latex. Um, so this is in the color Cafe Au Lait. So if you like this color, that is it. I got size large. And it is a, oh, it's just a thong. I think it's a high-waisted thong. Yeah, I think it's a high-waisted thong. So, yeah, I need a lot of help with, like, definitely kind of smoothing the belly. 
or like my husband likes to call it, my power center. <laughs> I need a lot of help smoothing that, so I usually end up getting like high-waisted stuff. Oh great, this color is really pretty though, isn't it? I love this cafe light color. All right, well that is what I got at Spanx. Is that weird that I showed you like undergarments? We're, we're all friends here, right? It's not a big deal. And wait, is that it? Yeah, that's it. I thought maybe I got some workout clothes because I really like their shorts. Actually, let me show them to you. So I usually just wear um, tights when I run. So even if it's kind of cold out, I definitely like to wear like a long sleeve shirt when I run, but I wear shorts because you, you get hot when you, uh, when you run. Um, and I feel like when my legs are covered, I get hotter than when my torso is covered, which I know is weird because whatever. Anyway, it's just what I discovered uh, just from years of running. So these shorts I love, they are like a regular runner short, but then they have like tight bike shorts underneath. So like they're built in double layer. And then there's like a pocket in the like bike short part. It's just great. And then there's a pocket in the back, like a zip pocket in the back. It's just a great, great running short because yeah, even if they ride up a little bit, you have that under layer, just very, very nice design. And I like all the little pockets and stuff. Um, so those are from Spanx that I really enjoy in those sports bras. I really, really enjoy. So that is another Black Friday purchase that I got. Not, not very exciting. Like I said, I only purchased only made one order that I would say is kind of exciting. <laughs> but yeah, I'll show them to you as they come in. But right now I have to get ready for, what time is it? I have to get ready for a meeting. Yes, it starts in 15 minutes. So I should get dressed. It is a Zoom meeting, so I should also put on some makeup and jewelry. Uh, so I'm gonna do that right now. But so much like yesterday when I pulled out that Vince cardigan that I purchased at the outlets in the summertime and it's this heavy knit and I just had to wait to put it on. Same with this hoodie. So I got this Loewe Arboreum hoodie. I think this past summer it was on sale and I think it was from their previous like fall winter collection. And it's heavy, like a really heavy, thick hoodie. And yeah, and I almost forgot about it because it was like up like up in my closet, like in the, the yeah, like the higher rods. Um, and I was kind of like trying to flip through them and I saw this, I was like, oh my God, I have to wear this. So I finally am getting a chance to wear this um, hoodie, which I'm so excited about. And this whole thing, this like herborium pattern is embroidered onto the sweatshirt. So it is like stiff. It's like, <laughs> it's like bulletproof. So I've got my I've got my shield hoodie on today. So I guess I'm ready for my meeting. Actually, am I ready for my meeting? I don't have earrings on. Let me put on just my um, Onyx drop earrings. I think that's fine. Yeah. Okay, we're ready to go. Oh, I should put on some makeup. Oh, I just had to take a phone call and I didn't put any makeup on. Do I look okay? <laughs> Is this acceptable? Getting ready for my. Getting ready for my call. Oh, I'm really hungry too. What should I have for lunch? I'm really dying for, talk me out of it. I'm really dying for some like fast food. I know, I know. You know, like sometimes it just, sometimes it just really hits the spot. Okay, well that was like the world's shortest meeting, <laughs> which I'm not complaining about. I was like, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> it literally lasted like 10 minutes. Um, so in about a half an hour now, um, California Closets is coming. I think I mentioned that this morning um, because we're building out my husband's office and I decided against fast food, although I don't know how much better this is, um, but my husband, <laughs> he likes to, for when he is working from home, he likes to just have some quick lunch options. So he got, oh, I threw out the bag, but it's basically just like these Kali Power, chicken things, you know, and like I've meant, I'm not going to beat this dead horse, but like I've mentioned, I'm not the biggest chicken fan, but you know what? It's fine. I'm just heating it up. I'll use like a hot sauce. It'll be fine. So that's what I'm having for lunch. I decided against the fast food. You will be either happy or not happy to know. And then, yeah, and then I'm gonna wait for um, California closets to show up, which I'm really excited for. Oh, and then I have to get my nails done. 
my appointment is at four, like later on in the afternoon. So I'll have some time um, between California closets and my nails to actually edit this vlog, <laughs> to edit this vlog, uh, which is probably what I'll use that time for. Um, yeah, yeah, all right. So I'm just gonna wait for my cauliflower chicken to be done. I think that looks good. Does that look kind of strange though that the... That these now are a different size? Or just even that one shelf is not lined up. This one isn't lined up with that, sorry. Well, yes, so um, I can bring it all back up. Okay. It's just going to be a wider, taller space. Or I can bring the cabinets up a little bit more. Let's see. But that, you don't like that. Okay, so let's change that. And you want these to be lined up with that too, correct? Uh, yeah, if it makes sense. We'll go back to, okay. that's how the original design was. So. Okay. Try that. I just want the space to be balanced. Right. Yeah. For sure. Now how tall are those cabinets? 41. Those are tall. What do you think about another, if we did... Or another row of uppers? We can do another row of uppers shelves. I do you know what I mean? Like lower this and then have one more row of shelves there? Or just make it totally different sized? Where's the height of the TV in this plan? The height of the TV is... Okay, so if that's 40. It's about 48. So that's the bottom of the TV. Um, I think I like where that is. Is there anything we can do with these cabinets? Um, oh, they don't have to be double doored, first of all, now that we've shrunk them. Oh, but, okay. Um, do you want to do a shelf below? To break up the time stands, this is, this is 44. So he's going to have, let's just say he's up to his desk. And then, yeah, this is, this is 44 right here. Yeah. So okay. that gives them, you yeah. know, room. room, but not too much room. And then we still have enough room in front of it okay. um, to feel spacious and not tight and crammed. Okay. And then he'll have um, another file drawer there. Okay. And then two medium drawers for supplies. We've got, I'm gonna take the chair back out. Okay. And then we have this little piece right here to store things. I believe we were storing like Was it the a power strips. Oh, okay. It's a place to just kind of store the the cords, and we also need it for bat leg -like stability anyway. We need something oh, okay. right there for stability. Got it. And so this will also be a good little spot to put like a, you can put like a, your router there. Okay. Um, Cause you know, it needs to be exposed and um, you know, maybe a power strip, things like that. How deep is that shelf? It's shallow. We had made it shallow. Just so did it get. So he has enough mm -hmm. foot room, I believe. Right, okay. Um. It's eight inches deep, so deep. with the okay. backing, it's actually more like six and a half. Oh, okay. So decent enough to, again, hold the wires okay. and, and a router. Okay. And then he still has leg room, because I know we did that intentionally. Did we make um, like a printer area, or he was okay with it just sitting on top? I, I think, so I have the measurements right here. Okay. So I believe he decided just to kind of keep it up on top. Okay. Because he wanted another work space right here underneath the window. Oh, like empty. Yeah. yeah. So he could yeah. turn around and have another mm -hmm. workstation basically. Mm -hmm. So we have this open right here because he likes to work right here and then he likes to turn around and do more work mm -hmm. over there. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think he's going to put his two monitors in that corner. Okay, yeah. And then we've got a cabinet in here. And then cabinet here. Mm -hmm. 
There's no backing behind the cabinets, okay. the head doors. Um, it takes up too much room. Yeah. So and especially in an office, in. you need yeah, yeah, you need as much space in this situation too. You need as much space as possible, so you don't want to eat up all that storage space. Um, and that's we did that instead of drawers, just because down there it just makes a little bit more sense. Well, you, you still need cabinets, you yeah. know, to, to store certain things. And we've got a file here. We've got a file right here. And then now we have three file drawers over there. Okay. So, yes, I think it makes sense to have a combination of some cabinet space and drawer space. Okay. Okay. Um, and then we have... The bookcase right here, and you've got your outlet right there. there. Okay. And we had up lighting. Uh, on top, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it just kind of illuminate up. Mm -hmm. Do you still want? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that would be nice. Do we want lighting in the shelves? Um, They're going to be full of books, so maybe. Yeah. If it's no? bookshelves, I don't. Then no. Yeah. It's more for display items. Well, California Claus has just left, and I have, I, I, I miss. I think I missed my calling in life. I get such a kick out of those like CAD drawings, and like when she's moving the shells around or whatever, I'm like, <laughs> like mesmerized. Um, but we finalized the plans on um, the office, and I'm so glad she came because we had completely planned out the office, and I thought, yeah, we're good to go. Like we really liked everything. That was kind of like the easiest room to do, um, but my husband has since uh, gotten a new television, which is actually considerably smaller than the one that he had, I'm sorry, baby, um, than the one that he had. So anyway, we got to like move some stuff around and we actually added a whole nother like shelf in there. So we're good. And then um, I decided, I decided to go for the shaker style drawers and cabinets, uh, which is going to take a little bit longer because they're special order, but I just feel like it makes them look a little bit more finished. And we have them uh, like all around our house. So I just feel like it's a little bit more cohesive. And if you are unaware of shaker style drawers, because I was not aware of all of this terminology. These are like plain slab front drawers and these are shaker style. So they have this like framing around them. So I decided to get those for all of his uh, like cabinet doors and all of the drawer fronts. I'm excited, I'm excited, but it's probably, um, yeah, it's probably gonna be in the new year <laughs> when work gets started because I think most things take like 68 weeks to order. And then with the special shaker style fronts, I think that's gonna be probably another like 10 to 12 weeks. Um, so yeah, so we're talking deep into 2023, but we'll definitely vlog that once we get there. Um, okay, I'm gonna sit and edit what I have of this vlog so far, and uh, my next appointment for today is to get my nails done. Hey guys, I just got my nails done. Just same old DND &D gels in walnut brown on my toes and my fingers. Um, actually, not gel on my toes, just regular polish on my toes, gel on my fingers. Uh, same color though. Anyway, um, just wanted to close out today's Mishmas vlog. I'm heading home. My husband's making some dinner. And I think that's it. I think that is it for me. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!